Um, I want to open up with the book of Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. So we go out the world to teach the truth to our people. The truth is that you Liberians, God calls y'all the Jews. It don't matter if you're Kwan, Kru, Pele, whichever tribe, Basa, the Jews are living in Liberia. The white man in Israel is not the Jew. He's the devil according to the Bible. That's the truth. That's the truth. You want to know why Liberia is poor? Because you allow colonizers to come in here. You want to know? You want to know why Liberia is poor? Because Firestone is in your country. All races, Lebanon, Lebanese hotels. Do they give you the money? No. All races come here. They take your resources and they leave. And they look at us like we're nothing. Me too. The only difference is my slave ship went to America. You stayed here, but we are the Israelites. Y'all understand? Yes. Now watch this. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. The book of Romans chapter 1, and verse 25. Listen good. He's going to ask a question. Read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Yeah, come on this side. Come on this side. It says, who changed the truth of God into a lie? Is the Bible a true book? It is a true book. But who taught lies? Who did it? Read it again. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who had the power to do that? The white man. Who had the power to pass laws? The white man. Who had the power to tell you how much money you're going to make? The white man. Why? Because he wants to make agreements with your leaders, with your politicians, and they pay the money. Why do you think they killed Tolbert? You think black people killed Tolbert? Who do you think was behind it? You think America really loved Tolbert? No. America don't like when black people unite. America likes when black people are divided. That's what they like. Read this again. Who changed? What were you at? Yes, sir. The book of Romans, the one of us on the fact. Watch this. Listen. Who changed? The truth of God into a lie. The white man did that. You didn't do that. You didn't do that. The white man did that. He changed it into a lie. He taught you that Jesus Christ is Caucasian. That's a lie. Give me Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 21. Watch this Bible scripture. I was raised in the church until I learned the truth. And I told my parents, no longer am I going to the church. Because in the churches, they teach lies. They want your money. They want your money. Read this. The book of Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 21. And if y'all have questions, feel free to ask any question. Come on. For the hurt of the daughters of my people, am I hurt? Are our brothers and sisters in Liberia hurting? Is there pain in this country? Is there pain? Yes. Is there poverty? Yes. yes. Why? 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 Because the white man oppresses. That's why. Read. Ah, and blood. What did Jeremiah just say? Ah, and blood. What did Jeremiah just say? Ah, and blood. Why don't they read that scripture in the church? They don't read these scriptures in the church. You never heard this verse in the church. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 21. Come on. For the word of the daughters of my people am I hurt. I am black. I am black, Jeremiah says. Now give me Jeremiah 14 verse 2. Jeremiah 14 verse 2. This is what white people don't like. White people don't like when black people unite. That's what they don't like. But when black people are divided, that's what white people like. They love division. You understand? Read. The blood of Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Come on. Judah morning. Who came from the tribe of Judah? Christ. Christ was from the tribe of Judah. Judah. Guess what? You Liberians, a lot of y'all are from the tribe of Judah. That's your tribe. You are the Jews according to the Bible. Read. Judah Mona and the guests, they're of language. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. So who's the white man with the yarmulke saying he's a Jew? Who is that? Who is that? 
he converted to that religion. He converted to that. He converted. He became Jewish. And he taught you. You're the bottom. You understand? Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Judah Munen in the guest they are of language. They are black unto the ground. It says they are black unto the ground. Now hold on. I want y'all to think about something. Is there a lot of poverty in this area? Yeah. Okay. Give me Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. Look at what Christ says. Christ is black. But look what Christ said to us. Because guess what? I'm your brother. I'm your brother. We are your brothers. We are the Jews. So, listen to the scripture. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Wait, what did Christ just say? Blessed are the poor in spirit. Christ said, blessed are the poor in spirit. That's not to white people. Because they're not poor. They're rich. They're rich. When you're white, guess what you get? Privileges. Privileges. Why? Because you're white. When you're black, you need to work hard. When you're white, you just need to know the right person. Read what Christ said. Blessed are the poor in spirit. So that's to all of us. He says, blessed are the poor. Blessed are the poor. Blessed are the poor. God put us in this condition. God put us in this condition. Why? Because we broke his commandments. Now it's time to keep God's commandments. A revolution is starting. The revolution is Christ is looking for soldiers. Christ is looking for soldiers. Give me Psalms 94 verse 16. Listen to what I mean. Not a revolution of guns. No. A revolution of discipline. A revolution of Liberians that understand they're the Jews. A revolution of Liberians that understand unity. Unity is where your power is. Read this. The book of Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Let me ask you a question. How many of y'all love God? Raise your hand. How many of y'all love God? Raise your hand. So, okay. Listen to what God says. Read it again. The book of Psalm 94 and verse 16. Come on. Who will rise up for me? God is asking a question. Who's going to rise up for me? Who's going to rise up for me? That's what God said. But you know what the problem is? You know who you've been rising up for? I'm going to show you. Let me ask y'all a question. Who's this? Who's this? Is that really Jesus? Is that really Jesus? Look, 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 look. Who is this? That's the devil, according to the Bible. That's right. That's the devil. That's who that is. All your life, you've been taught this is Jesus. You've been praying to this man. In your churches, you got this guy. In your house, you got him. In your grandmother's house, your father, your cousin, this man is in there. You're rising up for white man. That's why God put you in this poverty. Because you accept Jesus Christ is white. You need to stand up. And understand Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Right, right. Read it again. The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Who will rise up for me? So Christ is black. He says, who's going to rise up for me? God, Christ is not blessing you because you're allowing this. This is not Christ. That's the devil. Now watch this. Keep on. Against the evildoer. This is an evildoer. Now hold on. Isn't the first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me? So who's this? That's another God. That's another, you've been worshiping the wrong God. Now raise your hand if all of you at one time in your life pray to this image. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. If all of you at one time in your life, when you prayed, you thought of this man in your, in your head. All of us, guess what it's time to do? Repent. Right change. That's not Christ. Watch this. Give me John chapter 9 verse 31. You think God hears everybody prayers? No. John 9 verse 31. Read this. The book of St. John chapter 9 and verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. God doesn't hear your prayers. You know why? You've been praying to the wrong God. All these years you've been praying waiting for your blessing. You know why it didn't come? 
because you think you're the white man. That's not God. You've been praying to the wrong God. God is black. Give me the color of Jesus Christ. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. I'm going to show you the color of Jesus Christ. Marcus Garvey in the 1920s came to like one, set up UNIA in Liberia. So for a long time, revolutionaries been coming to Liberia. But what happened? You allow white people to come into your country. Guess what? The white man got to go. And you know how? We're not going to do business with you. But I know it's hard because you're like, yo, he owns everything. So where does this start? Unity. Unity. Unity in who you worship. That's the first thing. Change who you worship and worship the true God. Listen to this. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. So how do we get change in Liberia, in Monrovia? We need, you need to change who you worship and worship the true living God. Watch this. Read this. Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Revelation means the revealing of Jesus Christ. Read. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Now watch this. Give me verse 11. Read this. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 11. Say, I'm Alpha and Omega. Christ said, I'm the first and the last. Alpha and Omega. Read. The first and the last. Christ is speaking. Not this guy. Christ is speaking. You can put the board down. Come on. And what thou seest? Christ said, John, what you see of me? What? Write in a book. So he said, John, I want what you see of me. Write it in a book. This is over a thousand years, over 2,000 years ago. What did John write in a book? What did he write? Verse 14. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his head were white like wool. I have a question to you all. Point to somebody here that has woolly hair. Look around. Who in the audience? Very good. This is woolly hair. This is the hair of Jesus Christ. The hair that we have is the hair of Jesus Christ. So you have the hair of Jesus Christ. Listen, read. His head and his hands were white like wool. But did the white man show that kind of hair? No. The white man knows what he did. He said, oh no. Don't teach Liberians the, G the true image of Jesus Christ because they will rise up and overthrow us. Read it again. His head and his heads are white like wool. Woolly hair is the hair of Liberian people. Read. As white as snow. But Christ's hair was fully white. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So the whites of his eyes was red. Read. And his feet left on the farm brass. So now, remember, he started from the head. Now he's going down to the feet. John is looking and he's writing. John is looking and he's writing. John is looking and he's writing. Read. As if the burn in a furnace. What color is burnt chicken? Brown. What color is burnt rice? What color is when you burn anything? What color does it get? So, what did Christ look like? And his feet like on the farm brass, as if they burn. As if they what? They burn. As if they what? I burn. As if they what? They burn. Jesus Christ looked like he was burned in the furnace. What color is that? What color is that? What color is that? Why didn't the white man teach that? Because the white man divides and conquers. That's what he does. That's what he did in Liberia. That's why Firestone is in your country. To divide you. To conquer you. Now, get me Job 30 and 30. Job, how many of you know Job? No, we know it to be a good thing. Uh huh. So take it all, take it time, take it time, take it time, take it time. Uh huh. Come on, guys, let him, let him. Guys, say, it, say, it, say. It. We know that Joe, Joe can be a somebody because we know Almighty God help him. So now, can I ask you a question? No, you can't ask me the question. I gotta ask you a question. Yeah, ask me the question. What color is Joe? Joe is a man who may left. 
Easy for everybody. But, and he prayed for him. But what color is Job? Job is a white man now. Okay, watch this now. Read Job 33rd. Yeah. The book of Job, chapter 13 and verse 20. Let's see what Job wrote down. Now you said Job is a white man. Yeah. Watch this. My skin is black. Whoa. Read it again. The book of Job, chapter 13 and verse 30. Read it again. My Why don't they read that in the church? So you look at that. Mommy. Eh? But what color did Job say he is? Job said he's a black man. That's what I'm talking about. For we know that all work show like a celebrity. There's a black body and that's a black. Watch this. It is black. Read it again. No. The blood of Job just a dead and My skin is black. What did Job say? My skin. And type in Job, what color is he? White. They always show him white. But did he ever read it in the Bible? Thank you. Anybody have a question? I think he has a question right Thank here. Thank you. Let me turn the yes, sir. Sir. Thank you, bro. Take your time. Okay? Now we give you a time. We gave our board four different questions. Okay? Take your time. Thank you. Sir, statement. Hello? Chief. Yes, sir. Uh, Job was the son of Asika. Who was Jacob? And oh. that line was the black line. Yes. And yes. that line where Job came in all, he followed. Let you look at it as Jonas, they were all black. And those portrayed through Egypt and killed on this side. So Job was black, and his wife, Amin Kandi, was also a black woman. So from that point, we got to know that they were black people. And I don't want to explain plenty because of the goal, they brought religion to our Christianity yep. and Muslim. For us to divide. That's why they use those two strategy religion on us. But yep. our real religion is traditional religion. Thank so, you. Now, so now, very good. But now look, you said our real religion is traditionalism, right? Yes. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Our religion, according to the Bible, is to keep the commandments of the Bible. Yes. That's our religion, according to the Bible. Now, I want you to go to James chapter 2, verse, I think James chapter 1, James chapter 1 verse 26. The book of James chapter 1 and verse 26, if any man among you see could be religious. Religious. How many of y'all are religious? Raise your hand. How many of y'all are not religious? Raise your hand. Now. It's good that you say you're not religious. Because when you think religion, Christianity comes to mind. Remember, the white man came with a Bible and a gun. The white, the Bible is not a lie. The Bible is a true book. But what did I read in the beginning? Who changed the truth of God into a lie? The white, All throughout the Bible, it's black people. The white man said, no, it's not. It's white people. That's a lie. There's black people in the Bible. You Liberians are in the Bible. Watch this. Now, finish where you at. If any man among you seems to be religious and better not his tongue. It says, if you're a true man, a believer of Christ, you'll control your speech. But deceive his own heart. This man religion is vain. Meaning, you're not true, truly a religious person if you don't have discipline, self-control. That's true religion. Now watch this. The religion is the laws of the Bible. Give me John 14, 15. Watch what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you something that white people refuse to teach to you Liberians, the real Jews. Watch this. The book of St. John chapter 14 and verse 15. Come on. If you love me, keep my commandments. Christ said if you really love him, keep his commandments. If you truly love Christ, keep his commandments. Now, I'm going to show you, you Liberians are the real Jews. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Listen good. Get the poster board ready, all right? Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass 
if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord that God, if you don't listen to God, now remember, Jesus Christ is what color? God. What color is God? Black. Christ looks just like his father. Read. Don't observe, don't do all his commandments. God said, if you don't do all his commandments, read. Which I command thee this this. Come on. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. All these what? Curses. Liberians are cursed. The black man in America is cursed. Ghanaians are cursed. We're under the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to show you what I mean. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So watch this. I'm going to show you one of the curses. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 32. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 32. That sons and that daughters shall be given unto another people. History teaches were the Liberians were your children taken from you and shipped somewhere else read it again that sons and that daughters shall be given unto another people who was the other people that took your children the white man that's in the bible why don't churches read that verse because the white man taught them do not read that teach love does white does does christianity teach love Christianity teaches love, right? Love everybody. Be at peace with everybody. So if Christianity teaches that, why are Liberians always on the bottom? If white men teach you love everybody, why are you always on the bottom? Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a you. Have a yeah, I want to say one or two words. Yes, sir. Maybe don't understand something. This country, we are divided. And at time you try to talk, speak the truth, yes, and to open the truth, they get rid of you. They kill you. They get rid of you. Let me make it to know the only way the nation will be built. Like people need to gather and stay. For our right. This country, we are not colonized. We are not get independent. We got to fight for our independence. We got to fight for our freedom. And at the time, people want to speak out the truth. My brother, the same people want you to want to destroy you. They don't want for your eyes to be open. They all want for you or your eyes to be blind. You see why the devil went to Jesus, went to God, said Job. You are spread for seven. I want for you to put God said that I will put you into a hand, but do not touch a life. And what happened? He take all Joe resources. Joe was taking a black man. Because he don't want to see the good of Joe. That's why he wanted Joe to destroy Joe. Say it. Yes. Yep. Yep. So we gotta stay. We don't have independent. We gotta stay for our right. We gotta stay to regain our independence. But our people are our, our, they are pulling by the white people. Yep. Very good. For our right. Very good. Very good. What he said is true. What he said is true. You want to receive my order? Continue. Yeah, I should have one friend. So okay, come on. Hold on, real quick. All right, listen. Now listen to this. Watch this. What you just said. Now give me your, now thirty-two. Deuteronomy twenty verse thirty-two said, "Liberians, your sons and daughters will be taken from you." Who was doing the shipping? What race? White, white people were shipping our sons and daughters. You know why I say our? I'm your brother whose ancestors were taken to America. Y'all were here. Some of y'all came back here from America. I can't trace if my ancestors came from Liberia or Ghana or the Congo. But you know what I do know? My ancestors, like your ancestors, were in slavery. Do y'all understand? Now watch what God says. Read verse 48. The blood of the Deuteronomy. No, no, verse 44. Remember, we're reading curses. Read. The blood of the Deuteronomy on the air verse 44. Hish. He. Verse 43. Verse 43. The strangers, that is within thee. God said, the strange people among you, that's among you, read. Shall get up above thee very high. White people, they used to be below Liberians, right? Right? Yes. How come they're above you? Because look what God just said. Read it again. The strangers, the white man, that is within the gates. The screen that is within thee shall, shall get up above thee. Are white people above Liberians now? Yes, they have power. They have power, read. Very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Have Liberians come down low? Yes. How do we know? Look at your country. 
But it's weird. Why does Liberia look like this and you have gold? You have iron. You have silver. You have rubber. You know why? Because white man comes in your country. When white people come into your country, they say, we're coming to bring democracy. You know what democracy means? Prostitution. You know what democracy means? Worship white Jesus. You know what democracy means? Hate your brother. Why do you think Arabs say, we don't want white people in our country? Look what the white man is doing in Gaza. What is Israel doing in Gaza? Bombing them, right? Yes. What is the international world saying? Stop! What's Israel saying? No, we're not going to stop. Why? Because that's how white people get down. Read. He shall lend to thee. It says, the stranger's going to lend to you. Read. And thou shall not lend to him. And thou shall not lend to him. Come on. He shall be the head. The white man's going to be the head. And thou shall be the tail. And you're going to be the tail. We became low. Now read verse 48. Watch this. Moses wrote this. Therefore, shall thou serve thine enemies? Ooh, I got a question for my brothers. Who are the enemy of the Liberians? The white man is the enemy. Am I saying kill white people? No. I did not say that. But understand who your enemy is. Your enemy is going to hate you. Your enemy is going to destroy you. Your enemy is going to smile in your face and destroy and rape your country. I'm not doing that. Haiti's not doing that. Ghana's not doing that. But Britain is doing it. But the USA is doing it. But Lebanon is doing it. A lot of these hotels, you know who owns it? The Lebanese. Are they giving you the money? Are they building new schools for you? No. No. They making sure to get the profits. And they keep trading. Read it again. Therefore, shall I say that enemies Read. which the Lord shall send against thee. Who's going to send the enemies against Liberians? The Lord shall send against thee. Why did God do this to us? Because we worship other gods. Read. In hunger, do we serve white people for food? Yes. You depend on white companies for food products. Read. And it does for water. Guess what? The water system could be way better. But guess what? White people have better technology than you. White people have better infrastructure than you. White people have a better sewage system than you. Why are the streets much better here? You know why? Because the white man is here. Watch this. I'm going to let you out. Yes, sir. Watch this. And in nakedness for clothes. Do you serve white people for clothes? Yes. Read. And in want of all things, anything you need, you depend upon America. What does Liberia mean? The land of the free. But why do I see so many slaves in Liberia? If this is the land of the free, why are our people enslaved? What do I mean enslaved? Mentally. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon their neck. Did Liberians ever have yokes of iron on their necks? You say no. Yes. 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 When? Yes. In the, in, the, in the 70s, in the 80s. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Come on, I need you. Right here, look, look. Read, read, read it again. Here, come, come sideways so they can see. Yep, hold it, got it. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Show, show the crowd, look. What's this? What was that made out of? Iron. Liberians had this. Ships came on the coast of Monrovia, Liberia, and they took slaves to America, Haiti, Brazil, Dominican Republic. These are the pictures of the slaves. Read it again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon that name. The white man did this to Liberians. The white man did this. He put yokes of iron on your ancestors' necks. This happened to the Kron, the Kissi, the Capelle. This happened to you. Read. Until he had destroyed thee. Eventually he took the chains off. Why? Because it says until he had destroyed thee. Like he said earlier, not united. That's why it says until he had destroyed thee. One more scripture, watch this. Verse 68. Now here's my question. How did they take the people from Liberia into America as slaves? What means the transportation? 
By what? Ships. By ships. Watch this. The power of the derailment on the enemy says and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You're gonna go into Egypt with your slavery again. Read. Web ships. How do we get to America? Web ships. How do we get to Haiti? Web ships. How did they take Liberians to Jamaica? Web ships. Why they never read these scriptures in church? You never knew this was in the Bible. I never knew this was in the Bible. This is the truth of the Holy Bible. Right. The truth is, you Liberians that I'm looking at, you're the sons of the living God. Right. You are the sons of God. You're the descendants of Moses, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's why the scripture says, blessed are the poor. But you gotta remember who you are. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Well, shares by the way where all I speak unto thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. What were you not going to see no more again? Our true homeland. Our true homeland is Israel. That's right. That's our true homeland. We ran out of Israel to different parts of Africa. Look at the map. This is the slave trade. This is the slave trade. They took us from the Ivory Coast, from Ghana, from, Af from uh, the west coast of Africa, from Mali, from the Congo, from South America. They took us from South Africa. Guess what? Slave ships went to India. Slave ships went to India. They called them the CDs. See, you didn't know that there were slaves in India. That are your brothers. The slave trade was big business. Big business. Watch this now. Give me Job chapter 9, verse 24. So everything I just read, you can put that down. Everything I just read is proven that Liberians are who according to the Bible? The real what? The real Jews. Liberians, y'all are the real Jews. Read this. The book of Job chapter 9 and verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did the Bible just say? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is ruling the planet earth today? The white man. The white man. They, they, you see how easy it is? It's easy. But guess what? We try to meet with religious ministers and they say, no, 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 I don't want to talk to you. You know why? Because they're going to lose people in the church when you teach the truth. And they don't want to lose the money. But you see how y'all are speaking plain. Because y'all understand what the truth is. Read it again. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If you don't know who's ruling the planet Earth, which country has embassies all over the world? America. Which country has military bases all over the world? America. Everybody understands America runs the world. Now, I'm from America. You see how they treat y'all here? Guess how they treat the blacks in America? Like garbage. Like garbage. Blacks in America are oppressed. You see it? White people oppress black people in America. They live in the ghettos, in the hoods. They join gangs. Here, they have y'all poor. And you got natural resources. What is nature? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community.